guys. Today I wanted to show you the Doodle Crate by KiwiCo. And um, this is a subscription box that you get every month. KiwiCo has all kinds of different subscription boxes just depending on what you want. It's for kids, but I wanted it so I got it. I heard of it from Natalie Bennett, who is one of my favorite uh, YouTubers. She got it for her kids and it looked awesome. She had um, a different one than the Doodle Crate, but out of all of the ones that KiwiCo actually makes, that's the one I wanted the most. And this is like artsy stuff. The one I have is Make Your Own Faux Leather Portfolio. Create a hand-stitched portfolio to hold your sketchbook. So I think that sounds pretty cool. This is for ages 9 to 16 plus, and I'm 16 plus, so I fit in there, whatever. It looks really cool. I'm excited to try it out. It's taped up. I haven't even looked inside. All of the Kiwi Coat crates are $19.99 each, but I have a code in the description box where you can get the first month for $10 off. So it's only $10 for your first month. Make your own faux leather portfolio, stitching and embellishing. So it comes with like a little booklet, and it has the step-by-step -step ways to do it and everything. Very cool. This is that faux leather piece here, blue on the inside with a little pocket here. Whoa, okay. Cool. And here's all the stuff that goes along with it. And this is a little sketchbook. And that's everything in the box. When it's done, it should look like that. Or however you want to do it. I kind of want to like make the studs into like a bunny shape maybe. That could be fun. But it says you can either do it with the blue on the outside or the brown on the outside. I think I want the blue. I think that's fun. It's like really suede on this side and then like leathery on this side. All right. Well, I guess, should we start? I hope I'm smart enough for this. <laughs> this actually seems like there's a lot to it. So, all right. Well, I guess we should go on and try it out. Is that good? Hopefully. And uh, we're moving, so right now we have a whole bunch of junk in this corner, but just ignore it. Hopefully, you can see what's going on here. So this is my little fabric. And it says, number one is to plan your portfolio. So I want a blue portfolio with a blue pocket, probably. I'm probably going to have the pocket be blue and match. So that's my plan. And then you get the thread. It would go like this. It says to do it this way. And then pull the thread until they're both equal in length. So that's equal in length. Step three, grab the thread on the outside. Oh, okay, I see. I did that wrong. Okay. So you do it this way, where half is on the inside and half is on the outside. Poke it through the matching hole in the pocket, okay? So get your pocket. Hmm, you know what? I actually like the brown. I'm gonna have the pocket be brown. Slide it down so it rests against the portfolio. Then poke the outside thread into the second hole, going through both the pocket and the layer. Okay. And then do it in this one. And this one. Now poke the same thread through the third hole and pull it through. And you do it like that. Done this all. It just shows you that even though this is for kids, um, it can be hard for adults too. <laughs> Ooh, my mom's bringing Chinese food. 
every time we get Chinese food, we always get plain lo mein and cashew chicken. That's the best stuff to get. So it says when you're finished with this part, you thread this down, pull the thread up through the portfolio part only, so not the pocket. So then get the thread that's on the inside, poke it into the second hole. And then I guess this is doing the other ones that we didn't stitch because we stitched every other one. And then you stitch down. And basically do what we just did, but the ones that we didn't do this way. So now it looks like this instead of the other way where it's every other one. I love the sounds this makes of the thread going through the, the holes. It's like a very relaxing sound. Okay, when you get to the last hole through the pocket layer only, just like what this one said. So then these tie the threads together in a double knot and pull it tight. Is that missing a thing then? I don't know about that. That doesn't look right. So I'm gonna do it this way. I don't know if I did that right. I'm not very good at following instructions. Let's try it this way. I don't know. But anyway, now it's all sewn up. Fold the portfolio so the pocket is on the outside and the holes line up evenly along both sides. So that would look like this. Pick the thread color you wanna use on your portfolio. I'm gonna use blue. Poke through both holes on the bottom left corner. Pull the thread through until both ends are equal in length. Okay, so those are even. Sew them together the same way you did on the other one. Okay. Grab the thread on the front, poke it into the second hole. And then you keep doing the same thing where you go up and down and up and down. I think I missed a hole. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. I missed a hole. Hold up. You get to the last hole, push it through the last one, just the bottom one. Now get this one, do it through the bottom hole, basically the same way we did the other one. So, so far it looks like this. And then I'm filling in the gaps. And then only do it through the top one. And then you do the double knot again. And then you do the same thing that we did on this side, onto this side. It says here, embellish the flap and then just make it however you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip off the little excess threads. Make it look a little bit better. Nico just texted me. Hey, Nico. This is what it looks like so far. And that's the back. And it flaps down like that. It's super cute. I like it. I think it would be fun to put like a sticker here or something. I could do a heart. It says stick the brad legs through one of the tiny holes in the flap. Spread the legs and flatten them against the flap to hold it in place. If you have nails, it'll be a little easier. So that's what we got so far. Wow, you really need patience for this part. So here's that heart design that I put on the front. And then here's the little pocket and the sides all stitched up. 
and the back. So this is what it looks like. You add the elastic, so that's the last step. Fold the elastic in half and poke both ends up through the round hole in the flap one at a time. Ends should wind up inside the portfolio. Okay. So form the ends of the cord into a loop and then poke the ends through the loop. There you go. And then you can slide it in the middle like that. Ooh, this is loose. Because they said do it really close to the ends. But I think it's actually going to have to be up a little closer to the rest of it. Somewhere like that. There. So that way there's a little bit more of a give there. So this is the way mine turned out. Looks like this. And then blue elastic. And then you open it. And then you can put the sketchbook inside. And there it is. Very cute. I really enjoyed this craft. Um, especially if you get that 50% off your first box. It's good for a little $10 craft. And if you're babysitting maybe. Or if your kid just loves crafts. Um, especially with summer coming up, this would be a great thing to do in the summer to keep them busy. You can keep using it and using it. It's not like, you know, one time and it's done. You can put whatever you want in it, take it with you, you know, put your little toys in there. Because it, it closes up and it elastics closed, so nothing's going to fall out. And they feel like they accomplished something. They might end up being really proud of what they made, and then they can have it forever. So, very cute. And it's also customizable because if you want the blue outside you can, if you want the brown outside you can, you get to choose the pocket where what you do with that, you choose what design you want on the front, and you can always add stuff to it and make it however you want. So I really enjoy this craft. This has been my first KiwiCo crate and I'm really impressed. I really enjoy it. I have another one that should be coming soon. And I'm very excited to see it. It's another doodle crate. So it's going to be another creative craft, which I love. And um, I'm 22 and I kind of struggled a little bit with it. So, um, you know, you don't have to be ages 9 to 16 to enjoy it. You can be older, even younger, if you're able to do this kind of stuff. I don't see why you couldn't try it out, especially with like a parent's or an older sibling's help. I'm very impressed with KiwiCo, and if you're interested in it, there will be a link down below. You can get your first box for $10 instead of the normal $20. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's super cute so far. I really like it. My next one should be coming soon, and I'll do another video on that one. And I'm really excited to see what else they have in store. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you wanna. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.